afternoon on a Sunday and um, I was up, I did my blog lotties and uh, some hip exercises. And um, this morning I used the Dr. Jart's uh, BB cream again and I do still really, and I do really like it. But one thing I noticed in comparison to the uh, tinted L to MD mineral sunscreen that I normally use, it doesn't blend as easily as that one. It's a little bit more streaky. Um, have you guys ever noticed it? I'm using that, that uh, Disapore formulation. Anyways, so you know, yesterday my mom and I were out tootling about and I picked up some things. And so I'll show you what I got at the Patel Brothers. And then yesterday, exciting news, um, we got this new like jazzy uh, uh, delivery like butler thing. It's basically a room they have now. And it like sends you a text message when you get a package so you don't have to rely on the poor folks in the leasing office to uh, be there and you don't have to get your packages during business hours, which is kind of nice. I wanted to get a bulletin board to hang up the pretty cards that you all are sending me. So I got this cute one at Marshall's. He was on clearance for $10 and um, the colors kind of match in here. So I like that. Um, I think I'll put him over by my desk. And then I also got these cute owl push pins to go in with it. Um, and they were only like $3, so they are really cute. Um, so I'm excited for that to hang up the pretty cards. I got some stuff from Vitacost um, on 4th of July because they were having a discount and I needed some other things. Um, I'm out of the cacao powder and I really enjoy the Vitacost brand of cacao powder. If you guys like cacao powder, I recommend theirs. Um, their organic one, it's really good. And I'm out of duels. I love this stuff. Uh, sprinkled on salads and uh, just eaten straight out of the bag. Bag. It's a uh, sea vegetable from Iceland that uh, has a nice sort of sweet salty taste to it. Um, and then uh, I got some PB Slim. This is the Vitacost brand of powdered peanut butter like PB2. Uh, it tastes exactly the same. I highly recommend theirs. It's a little bit cheaper. Then I got this brand of nutritional yeast to try out this time. Uh, KAL Innovative Quality. The Flakes. Um, I love nutritional yeast, mostly for the taste, but it is a good source of uh, B vitamins, supposedly, but I like it mostly for the taste. Um, and then my calcium, my hideous caltrate is almost out, so um, I have a backup here of uh, caltrate chewables. Uh, I love chewable vitamins. These are fruit flavored. They don't have any added sugar in them. I think they're sweetened with xylitol, so uh, I'll be taking those once the other guys run out. Then I ordered these from the Amazonian, these Cindy bands. I like these hair bands uh, as ponytail holders because um, they don't uh, pull on my hair, they don't cause hair breakage, and uh, I like the colors that they come in. I was coming out of the parking garage on, I think, Friday with my mermaid cup with water in it, and it slipped out of my hand, fell down the stairs, and the top completely shattered. So it is useless now as a water receptacle. I'm so devastated because I love that thing but she will no longer function as a to-go cup. So at Marshall's I got, um, you know I really love my Bubba cup here that I got at Walmart. He's lined with metal. He has a cool swizzle straw. So at Marshall's I, handed, I picked up Bubba's sister. This is another Bubba um, that matches my initial Bubba. So now I have two. One Matt and one Shani, so um, I'm excited he's got a sister now. And then I really racked up at Patel Brothers, the Indian grocery store. Guys, these are so cool. Um, what these are are lentil crackers, and here I'll just show you because I, I cracked into them last night. I have no shame. I'll just show you guys because I cracked into one, made one last night. They're really good. Um, I had them with the, my leftover um, veggie bur fire burgers, but. Um, what it is, is a lentil cracker, and it comes out, um, it's, I think they're, I, I don't think you eat them directly like this. Um, you can just heat them up in a skillet, but or you can put them in the microwave for one minute, and they, they turn into a cracker. It is so cool. They turn into cracker, they get all these tiny little air holes in them, and they turn into this thin, light cracker. And um, they're made out of lentils, and the, this particular one that I got also has black pepper in it, and really good. And for one piece, that one that I just held up, it's 35 calories, no fat, 
no cholesterol, six grams of carb, and three grams of protein. It's just made with lentil flour and a little bit of sunflower oil and black pepper. Um, this is by Raja Foods, uh, best taste squad in town. So I love these. And this bag came with 36 and was only $3. So, but yeah, totally cool. And then um, I got some uh, whole moon beans. I think this is kind of like a type of lentil, basically, and I haven't had it yet. And these were only $4 for the two pounds, so that's a pretty good price. Um, so I'm excited to have those. Um, and then I also got some Desi chickpeas. I think I'm saying that right. These are green chickpeas. Never had, never, I've never cooked with these before either. Um, so I'm happy to have those. Um, you can also get both of these, I think, on Vitacost, too. But um, I went ahead and picked them up there because uh, I'm buzzing through all of my legumes. And then I also picked up um, this Madras curry powder because you guys know I had those little mini, I got those mini, um, mini jars. I got those mini uh, ball jars from Kroger and I want to put these into those. Um, so once I use up the curry powder that I have from Kroger, which is not so good, I'm almost done with it. Th this particular one that I have from Kroger now is better than the, the previous one, but um, I'm excited to have a, a better one. And then I also got some uh, coriander cumin powder. Um, happy to have that uh, for my crock pot slow cooker cook downs. These these two together. And then I absolutely love, love, love fennel. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I love how in Indian restaurants you have the little fennel seeds when you come in to cleanse your palate. So I got some of those as well. Um, these are all really affordable, so stocked up there. Let me get a buzz here. Oh, um, so I'm, I'm completely out of beauty dust, but I am, um, I am still drinking my um, Snow, Lo Snow Lotus Beauty Tea that I got on Vitacost. And you know, if you're new here, I drink Beauty Dust not for any purported health benefits or skin benefits, but rather for the taste. I purchased this on Vitacost to see um, how it would compare. Cost-wise, they're approximately the same per unit. And um, I, I'm this one, you know, um, while, while I, I like it and it blends well with the coffee, it doesn't have much of a taste. So that's kind of why I drink Beauty Dust, so I will probably you know, not repurchase this. But if you're intrigued by taking pearl powder or um, snow lotus, which Beauty Dust does not have snow lotus in it, um, if that is something that interests you, I cannot comment on its utility, but the dragon herb seems like a good one. Finished off my um, cranberry bean burger with my spicy cranberry bean burgers last night and I took it upon myself. These are the Parawana beans that I got on Vitacost that I wanted to try and I'm pretty sure I've definitely had these before. I just made them up. They're essentially a white bean. I know I've seen these in like Mexican soups and refried beans so um, I made up uh, four servings here um, and basically I'll just have this through the week to go through. It's like, but Anyways, I think I'm going to uh, put up my uh, bulletin board so I'll check in with you guys later. And voila, not mad at how that's coming out. Um, I've got uh, my little pineapple there that my mom cross-stitched for me. And my pretty uh, South Carolina postcards. I got my little Vogue girl there saying hello. I got my sweet lemonade card here um, that I love so much. And those little owl uh, push pins. Uh, look quite cute and I'm loving it. I'm loving the coloration. Uh, the only thing I kind of want to do, I need to figure it out, is this is my uh, this is my pretty Charleston magnet. I'd love to sort of fix him on here. Um, um, too bad this uh, bulletin board doesn't have a metal backing on it otherwise the magnet uh, would work but I could just get some uh, tacky tack or whatever it is probably and stick it there. I'll have to figure out how to, a way to put it there but I think that would look nice on there as well. I think it'd pop more on, on the bulletin board than, than on my fridge. But yeah, not mad at how that has come out. And then I've got Totoro here on my fridge, uh, classic. I, I believe he belongs in here because I'm always drinking my coffee in my kitchen. So I think it's nice to have him in the background while I talk to you guys, beaming at us. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a command hook right here on this little strip of wally doodle. 
I think that would be good. Um, that way uh, we can showcase my pretty uh, Ikea apron here with all the veg game going on. Hey guys, so I'm over here at the Scout and Molly's. Go in, they have cute stuff. <laughs> it's like they're having a sale. This is my signature blue color. Is cupcakes and cashmere a good brand? I don't know, I've never worn it before. Some cute stuff. cute little store how fun was that um, I'm about ready to uh, get my crock pot going for uh, dinner but um, I thought I'd show you guys I'm gonna have a little snack I'm gonna have one of those lentil crackers and I thought I'd show you how it comes out okay so I've just taken one out of the bag here you can see it's uh, kind of firm it almost looks like a sheet of I don't know pasta almost and I'm just gonna put it in the microwave it's kind of like popcorn almost. Here, I'll show you guys. I don't know if you can see it in there. See how it's starting to bubble up? I just have it on a devil paper towel, but see the little bubbles it's making? So cool. <laughs> I'm totally stoked about this. Voila! Instant giant lentil tortilla chip. The cracked pepper one is really good. Um, can you guys see how it's got all of these little micro bubbles in it? This is the coolest thing ever. How good would this be with um, like peanut butter mixed with uh, some ginger powdered ginger or curry powder smeared on top or refried beans? Like a um, nacho.
I took it upon myself to download from HBO the um, Big Little Lies miniseries, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, the books were a lot of fun. I'm disappointed, however, that uh, the miniseries is not in, or the whatever TV show is not located authentically like the book. Um, but, you know, it is a beautiful location nonetheless, so I'm enjoying it. I did my uh, cauliflower curry cook down, getting it going in the crock pot with some mushrooms, sliced up the rest of the Costco containers worth, and they are in the fridge for salads. Um, and now I'm going to get my rear into the gym. I'll check in with you guys later. <laughs> Hey guys, my girl Carol here is getting gingered. <laughs> um, skincare update wise, okay, so I realize, uh, you know, you all may have corrected me in my verbiage at this point, but, you know, realize that I'm coming at you in the past. Um, I realized that in reading the instructions on these Dr. Jart's Ceramidin, um, uh, light cream and liquid that these are actually both intended to be used on the face. I believe in prior videos I you know was talking about using them on my body. Um, but I tried them as instructed tonight and Dr. Jart, here I'll just hold them up to you guys. These were sent to me um, from the Beauty Sesh folks um, who I, I'm very grateful to for sending me these. You all wanted me to test them out. Dr. Jart, I mean, this had so much potential in my brain when I was reading the instructions. Um, and, you know, as far as uh, it's got ceramides in it, which can, you know, help restore the skin barrier. I was thinking, is this like CeraVe? And I'll be darned, the fragrance in this is so strong, you know, it's bound to be irritating. So I don't like it in that regard. But as far as the vehicle, it's, it's quite nice. So first up, the liquid, um, you know, is kind of like, you know, the first step onto a clean face. And it's, you know, it's, it's basically what, what this is just like, in my opinion, the texture and feel of it. It's very, very similar to my cruelty-free friend here. It's very, very similar to my cruelty-free friend here, Scandiva, who you guys commented in my video that you like Scandiva and you're familiar with it, so that's cool. Um, I, I like this a lot, too. I mean, they're like, Scandiva's maybe a little thicker, um, but, you know, it's like, it's like slime and slime, you know? It's like, I can't really see any advantage. Scandiva, however, does not have any fragrance and is cruelty-free. Um, and then as far as the light cream, you can see how thick and that basically looks like mayonnaise, in my opinion. Um, and it smells like, um, do you guys, have you guys ever smelled the um, Clinique, uh, God, what is it called? It's like this Clinique fragrance lotion that elixir or, I can't remember, something elixir. It comes in a yellow squeeze tube and it smells like, like a, like a, you know, a fancy grandma fragrance. That is how the Ceramid and Cream smells to me as far as its fragrance. So I don't think it's very good on the face. I will continue to use the, the cream on my body as I initially uh, thought it was intended to be used. I will, I, however, don't think it's good on the face. Um, I think CeraVe is a far better option. Many of you, however, a few of you, however, have commented that the CeraVe PM, most of you seem to really like it, but a few of you have commented that when you put it on, it stings for some, when you put it on, it stings, and that may be the niacinamide. Um, so, you know, I have heard that CeraVe is cruelty free from you guys, so that's great. Um, but you know, I don't really think the Dr. Jarts has got is offering much, much, much over CeraVe in my opinion, and it has that culprit fragrance. Um, I did come back in again with the intensive skin food um, shea butter to my body. I really enjoy this product. You know, this is a nice one. It's it doesn't have. Um, any detectable fragrance. It may have slight fragrance. It may have some fragrance added to it. I can't tell from the um, ingredient list here. I'll have to look, but I really like this. And on the body, you know, where the skin is thicker, a little bit of fragrance is less likely to be problematic than a lot of fragrance on the thinner skin of the face. Um, so I like this one, you know, for the body. And I will continue to, I will probably use up this jar of mayonnaise here on my body because um, I, I kind of like the grandma, the fancy grandma smell it has. It's <laughs> sort of nice. Um, you know, on my legs, I'll be okay with it, but I won't put it on my face. And likewise, the Ceramidin cream, I mean, this is, this is a, 
this is a pretty tiny tube and this I'm, I can foresee people putting this around their eyes and I think that that would cause a lot of potential irritation and if you're somebody with dark circles under the eyes you know I think this might get you into trouble honestly that's just my opinion on the product but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the vlog today I'm gonna conclude it here give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe I'll talk to you guys tomorrow Bye.